For our new adventure, we are traveling to a city in Southeast Asia that is known for its vibrant street life, markets, cultural landmarks, and mouth-watering foods. In this travel diary, allow me to take you guys with me as we explore and get lost in the land of smiles. Bangkok, Thailand Once again, we are traveling with Cebu Pacific and the flight will take three and a half hours. Fortunately, we had a smooth airport experience. The immigration officer only asked when my last travel abroad was and who I was traveling with, then I'm good to go. With all the IO horror stories online, my only advice is to keep calm and be honest and prepared, but don't oversupply documents unless otherwise asked. This SIM card is only 280 pesos and has 15 gigabytes of Wi-Fi, data, and calls that are good for 8 days. Check out the description box for the links and discount code. We originally planned to exchange our money at the airport but since we arrived early, the money changers are still closed. However, we effortlessly managed to get a cab even if we didn't have Thai bat as of this moment because we downloaded the app called Bolt. They accept debit and credit card payments and Bolt is much more affordable than Grab. So guys, after almost 20 to 30 minutes from airport to here in the house Pratunam, we finally arrived here but the problem is we can't check in yet because it's too early. Ang nabook namin is for today lang. Dapat pala kahapon pa lang binook na namin para makonsume namin yung oras ngayong umaga. And fully book na sila. So wala kami mabook na extra room. Hindi rin kami makapagbayad ng early check-in. It's currently 5.53 a.m. Tapos 2 p.m. pa yung check-in. So 8 hours pa. Naghanap si Nao ng... Naghanap siya ng pwede niyang mabook na other hotel. Kasi wala pa kaming tulog. We will stay in the Pratunam area because it is accessible to all since it's located near the local markets, malls, and train stations. It's currently 7.36 a.m. And since ang aga pa nga namin, di pa daw kami pwedeng mag-check-in. Naghanap na lang kami muna ng money exchange. Pero parang iba yung mahanap namin kasi damit damit sis. Wala kaming pambil eh. Nagka-canvas muna kami. Uy! Ito yung palda sa TikTok. Eh. Ay, yung trousers sa TikTok. Eh. Ano yung binibili mo? Wala akong pambil eh. Susukatan ko. Guys, nakapagpapalit na kami ng pera dito sa Heng Heng. Dito lang sa may Pratunam area. And maganda rin yung palitan dito. Hindi sobrang layo nung agwat dun sa mga na-search namin na mataas daw ang palitan sa airport. Dito, yung 12,000 ko is 7,200 baht. Ay, 1,000 pesos natin, 600 baht. So, yung 10,000 natin. So, yung 10,000 is 6,000. One tip for you guys, kung madami kayong ipapapalit na money, try to haggle para medyo taasan nila yung exchange rate. Pwede pala yun. Masarap yun dito, mainit pa. Ba't ay kiro nga? Ano ang chicken? Chicken. Alasa. The Chachachak Weekend Market is 18 minutes away from our hotel. By the way guys, we book a cab through Vault again. Actually, hindi namin nagamit yung unlimited train pass kasi mas naging convenient for us na mag Vault since it's comfortable, affordable, dahil 3 naman kaming naghati and it saved us from mahabang lakaran and pagod. Dito na rin kami naghintay ng oras sa Chachachak Market and dito na rin kami kumain ng lunch. Chachachak is a weekend market. They will give you guys a map para ma-maximize nyo yung pag-iikot dito. 
If you're looking for pasalubong, dito na talaga yung perfect place to get it kasi sobrang mura lang. Ito yung parang version ng Tay Tay Changen natin sa Philippines. You can find almost everything here from clothes, food, bags, pasalubong, name it, nandito na lahat. We got a few stop here since our time is limited but panalo talaga yung pad thai na kinain namin dito. Seafood pad thai. Mm -hmm. Chicken pad thai. Here's the much-awaited room tour! We booked our accommodation through Agoda for a total of 6 days and 5 nights. Originally, we were supposed to stay for 5 days and 4 nights only but we extended for another day because our flight back to Manila got cancelled. We paid almost 1,100 pesos each per night which is super affordable given the location and the quality of this room. They have the comfiest beds, cold rooms, and genuinely accommodating staff. If you're traveling Bangkok, I highly recommend this place. They will clean your room every day, they will change the towels and toiletries too, and they have free drinking water as well. To end our first day in Bangkok, we booked the Chao Praia dinner cruise on Klook for only 1,500 pesos. But the problem is, mali yung nalagay kong date. Good thing it's easy to file a refund on Klook and nag-walk in na lang kami sa Chao Praia Princess on which we paid 1,500 baht. By the way, you can find this place at Icon Siam Pier located at Suk Siam Zone G floor inside the Icon Siam Mall. This is something you shouldn't miss because everything is delicious. There are lots of food choices from seafood, pasta, of course Thai cuisine, steak, and many more. This is the perfect way to end the night while listening to Filipino live performers with a view of the Icon Siam, Wat Arun, Grand Palace, and the Rama 8 Bridge. Good evening to all of you. Welcome aboard to Chao Princess. So what do you got? Thank you so much for waiting guys. And sa mga kababayan ko po dyan, magandang gabi po! It's a wise decision to stay at the house Pratanam because it's walking distance to almost everywhere like Platinum Mall, Pratanam Market, December's, and we spent most of our time here. Since malapit siya sa mga restaurant, dito na rin kami nagbe-breakfast. Pagising pa lang namin, dumiretso na kami sa market hoping na makakabili ng outfit for temple. Dapat talaga, morning kami pupunta doon. But since magood pa and shopping is life, minove na lang namin yung schedule sa hapon. To justify our decision, may dress code kasi sa temple. And wala kaming binaon na damit. Kahapon pa lang, naghanap na kami sa December's. But since limited yung time because of dinner cruise, now na lang namin tinuloy ang paghahanap. Marami guys, sobrang daming damit. Nakakalito kung ano yung bibili na as in, ang tip ko sa inyo, kayo ma-overwhelm. Kasi na-overwhelm kami. Hanapin nyo muna yung mga gustong-gusto nyo talaga para makapag-compare din kayo ng price.
for breakfast, JC got Milo coffee and I got the oval trim milk for only 25 baht. Nothing is really special about this except for the steamed milk. Then we found the nasi goreng or the street fried rice for only 80 baht. May egg ng kasama yun. Masarap siya. This actually tastes like pork chow fun. The Grand Palace has been the official residence of the former kings of Thailand from King Rama I to King Rama V since 1782. At the present, the palace is used for hosting royal ceremonies and welcoming the king's guests, state guests, and other foreign leaders. It is also the place where the remains of kings and high-ranked members of the royal family were situated before cremation. The Grand Palace is divided into two parts, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha and the Royal Residence. The Grand Palace is open every day from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. with admission fee of 500 baht for foreigners. Keep in mind that you need to wear proper dress code when visiting this place. Wear clothes that covers the shoulders as well as long pants to cover the ankles or skirts and dresses below the knees. Sobrang init sa temple, kaya naman kahit pwedeng ikutin yung three temples in one day, pinili namin hindi gawin. Kaya naman guys, don't forget to apply sunblock and bring water and face towel na rin. By the way, we went straight to Central World for dinner. Which is yung ito nga, oil massage. Ang api ang kayo, di isang konta? Yes. Okay. Oh, sa Yes. Oh. 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 Siguro yun naman may titiyan, pero Ayan. may re-relax naman ako doon sa boxes. Oo, oh, oh, tulog na tulog ako. Nag-uusap sila. Unlike sa Philippines, di ba, yung mga nagmamassage tahimik lang, ganun. Kasi nga para makapag-relax. Sila, silang dalawang ate, nagkukentuhan sila. Pero para lang may background noise na nanonood ng TV, ganun. Eh, malamig yung boxes nila. Oo, oh, oh. tapos nagtatawanan sila, ganyan. So, grabe, 1.5 hours, sulit. Tapos yun, yung pinakahuling ginawa nila, yun ata yung traditional Thai massage. Sis, instant chiropractor. <laughs> Akala ko mamapaliliig ko. Pero ang sarap, lumino yung mata ko. Nakikita kita ngayon. Wat Arun, or the Temple of Dawn, can be found on the other side of the Chow Phraya River, opposite the Wat Pho. Its name is derived from the Hindu god Aruna, which means dawn light or rising sun. Wat Arun is one of the famous and most photographed temple in Bangkok. It's best to visit in the morning so you can capture your prettiest photos wearing traditional Thai costumes that can be found right outside the temple. For only 200 to 250 baht, you can choose the color that you want and they will also style your hair. Wat Arun is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. with an entrance fee of 100 baht for foreigners. Thank you. 
Sham or the ancient city is dubbed as the world's largest outdoor museum occupying 200 acres in the shape of Thailand. This museum features famous monuments, architectural designs, and replicas of other iconic sites. You can do a lot of activities inside like elephant feeding, you can also ride the elephant or do an outdoor photo shoot wearing traditional Thai costumes. It's impossible to explore this by foot so we rented a golf cart for 350 baht for the first 1 hour and additional 200 baht for the succeeding hours. If you don't know how to drive a golf cart, no worries as you can also rent a bicycle to enjoy this place. By the way, it's an hour away from Bangkok so we took a cab going here but you can also go by taking the BTS SkyTrain to Kea Station. From there, it's 10 minutes away by taxi. You should definitely add this on your list and probably a lot a half day for this trip. Super worth visiting! Erawan Museum is famous for its three-headed giant elephant structure. This is renowned as the first and biggest sculpture in the world. Erawan means water, rain cloud, rainbow, or lightning. According to myths and legend, this all signifies Indra using Erawan elephant as a vehicle flying across the realm and give rain to the earth. The museum is divided into three in accordance to the Hindu representation. The first floor depicts the underworld. The second floor represents the concept of earth or the current life. And the third floor portrays the heaven. These serves not just a museum but also a shrine. Erawan Museum is not far from the ancient city. We purchased the tickets through Klug and it is combined with the tickets for ancient city museum for only 830 pesos. It is open every day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Our next stop is Gums Ari. It is a community space filled with cute cafes, IG worthy restaurants, and photogenic spots. I've been dreaming to visit this place for a very long time, and I'm so happy that finally I'm here dining with my best friend and the love of my life. If you're wondering where's our friend, nasa mall na siya. Shopping is life kasi si now. While for me, coffee hopping is life. Sometimes I guess running into you is by chance. 
But it was nice to ask you how you've been I had to go cause I was late as always You said tomorrow meet me at the cafe And now I After cafe hopping in Ari, we went back to the Icon Siam Mall to visit the biggest Starbucks in Thailand. You don't know how happy I am today, guys. It's such a blessing for me to be here. As a Starbucks girly, one of my dreams is to visit all the Starbucks branches in the world and get at least one item from them. Pwedeng ready na umuwi. Oh, yan na yung mga luggage. Sticky rice. <laughs> Tapos moves. It's a sign, guys. It's a sign na deserve namin mag-stay. Uy! Charot! Uy. Ayan, no. Sige thank na. Thank you, si Bupak. Pindutin na natin. Anong thank you? Wala mang complimentary. Ay, wala pala. Wala pang pa-hotel. Uy, go na natin. Ayan. One. Wait, two. Uy! Yung isa pa. Sa Pwede Ay, pa ulit pero buko. Pwede pa ulit pero Nakabili nga akong damit. O, o, titi. Kukulo naman dyan ko. <laughs> Tapos hindi makapag-isip kasi yeah. gutom. Hindi <laughs> nga ako makapag-focus eh kasi inisip ko lang, shit, kailangan tatlong kulay makuha ko. <laughs> Adik ka na, te. <laughs> Since we got another day, might as well make the most out of it. We headed to a coffee shop 40 minutes away from our place. This is the Rolling Roasters. This cafe boasts its handcrafted dirty globes and rusty metal industrial design. This is definitely one of the most beautiful coffee shops I've ever been to. Meet me when the stars align Meet me when the earth's a 
Baby Chino has become a famous brunch spot in the heart of Ekamai. It has a modern minimalist concept and a man-made koi pond added elegance to its vibe. Baby Chino is worth visiting given the ambiance and the quality of their food. Not to mention, they have the fastest service as well. I paid to watch you stand up there and gave you all the power You say she's a work of art You pick her up from school But she blows you off That's it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next adventure. Bye!